Did you know that the secret to improving your feedlot cattle performance could lie in what they're eating? Imagine a feeding system that optimizes their growth, provides more nutrients, and at the same time helps you reduce costs. Yes, all of this is possible with conserved forages. Today, I'll share how you can transform your livestock production and take it to the next level. In livestock farming, your cattle's performance largely depends on what they eat. Proper feeding management can make the difference between a successful feedlot operation or a loss of time and money. If you're looking for ways to improve your animal's growth rates without excessively increasing feed costs, conserved forages are a key tool. Can you imagine a food that helps maintain the quality of your cattle while optimizing resources? Let's dive into the details. What are conserved forages? Conserved forages are plants that are harvested and stored to be used as food throughout the year. The main difference is that when properly conserved, they retain their nutritional value for much longer. There are several conservation techniques, the most common of which include hay. This process involves cutting and drying the forage, removing moisture to prevent spoilage. Silage. It is a controlled fermentation process in which the forage is stored in anaerobic, oxygen-free conditions to preserve its nutrients. Grass and legume, silage in this case, legumes and high protein herbs are conserved, providing a nutrient rich diet. Why are they important for feedlot cattle? Conserved forages are essential for feeding your feedlot cattle for several key reasons. Feed, optimization, they provide a proper balance of nutrients during times of the year when fresh pastures are not available. Cost reduction. You can conserve high quality forages during seasons when there is an abundance of grass, allowing you to save on purchased feed during periods of scarcity, better digestibility, and faster growth. When properly conserved, forages maintain their high fiber content, which is crucial for the animal's digestive health. This leads to better nutrient absorption, faster weight gain, and quicker fattening. Impact on feedlot cattle performance, Proper supplementation with conserved forages can have a significant impact on your cattle's performance. Here's how. Improved feed conversion. Well-processed conserved forages help improve feed conversion. This means that animals better convert the food they consume into body weight, resulting in more efficient fattening. Increased daily weight gain. When the right forage is used, animals have a higher weight gain rate, meaning they'll reach the market weight faster, reducing the fattening time. Digestive health control. The fiber in conserved forages regulates the digestive system, promoting efficient digestion and reducing the risk of feed-related diseases. Which forages are the most efficient? The choice of the most suitable forage for your feedlot cattle will depend on factors such as climate, cattle type, and local availability. However, some forages stand out for their efficiency in terms of nutrition and ease of conservation. Here are the most recommended ones. Alfalfa. This forage is highly valued due to its high protein and fiber content. Alfalfa promotes fast, healthy growth, especially in the early stages of fattening, as it provides the necessary proteins for effective weight gain. Additionally, its high digestibility allows animals to maximize nutrient absorption. Clover. Another excellent option is clover, a legume that also has a high protein content. Clover is easy to conserve through silage, ensuring a continuous nutrient source for cattle. It's especially useful for supplementing diets and pastures that lack large areas of natural grass. Forage sorghum. Ideal for areas with limited water, forage sorghum is drought resistant and can grow in poor soils, making it a perfect option for arid or semi-arid areas. Its high fiber and energy content make it ideal for balanced diets, promoting good cattle performance. Silage corn. Silage corn is widely used in fattening systems due to its high energy content from carbohydrates. This forage significantly contributes to rapid weight gain, providing the necessary calories for efficient fattening. Furthermore, corn silage is easy to store and preserves well throughout the year. Each of these forages has unique characteristics that make them suitable for different management conditions, so it's important to consider your specific needs when choosing which to incorporate into your cattle's diet. Additional benefits of using conserved forages. Better control over feeding. One of the greatest advantages of conserved forages is that they provide total control over the quality and quantity of food your cattle consume year round. By storing large amounts of forage at its peak, you can ensure that your cattle 
are always well fed, even during droughts or hash, uh, pasture shortages. This reduces dependence on favorable weather conditions and allows for more precise planning without the risks of climate variability. Greater biodiversity control. Conserved forages allow for greater species diversity in the cattle diet, which not only improves animal health but also soil quality. Varying the diet with different forage species helps maintain an optimal nutritional balance and promotes biodiversity as it encourages the use of plants that enrich the local ecosystem and protect the soil from erosion. Efficiency in time management. With conserved forages, the need to manage other feed sources such as purchasing concentrates can be reduced. This enables a more efficient use of resources and time as you can plan ahead for the amounts needed for your cattle and avoid the stress associated with feed shortages. Additionally, reducing reliance on external resources increases the sustainability and profitability of your livestock operation. Common mistakes in forage conservation. Forage conservation is an excellent technique to ensure a continuous supply of quality feed for livestock, but it's not without challenges. Some common mistakes can affect both the quality of the forage and the health of the cattle. Here are the most frequent errors and how to avoid them. Improper storage. The main mistake in forage conservation is incorrect storage. If forage is not stored under optimal conditions, its nutritional value deteriorates quickly. This can happen if it is stored in a place exposed to the sun or with poor drainage, allowing the decomposition of essential nutrients. To avoid this, forage should be stored in a dry, well-ventilated area, protected from excessive moisture. Excess moisture, forage with too much moisture, can be harmful to animal health. Excess moisture encourages mold and bacteria growth, which can lead to gastrointestinal or respiratory diseases in livestock. It's crucial to store forage with an appropriate moisture content, usually between 60% and 65%, and conduct regular inspections for signs of deterioration. Lack of supervision, not regularly monitoring the conservation process can lead to quality losses in stored forage. Over time, it's important to check forage batches to ensure they are well sealed and have not developed air pockets that could cause uncontrolled fermentation and nutrient loss. Consistent supervision and proper management ensure the preservation of forage quality. Avoiding these mistakes will help ensure that conserved forage retains its nutritional quality and truly benefits your cattle's performance. Efficient use of conserved forages can make a big difference in your feedlot cattle's performance. Not only will you improve the health of your animals, but you will also optimize resources and reduce costs. If you implement this strategy, you'll see how your profits increase significantly and your cattle will grow faster and stronger. Are you ready to try it? If you want to learn more about how to improve your cattle's performance and other strategies to optimize your production, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Leave me a comment sharing how you currently manage your cattle's feeding and what you think about conserved forages. See you in the next video.